understanding music emotion is a very vital music skill it's something that every recording artist every songwriter needs as a matter of fact you know um, when i talk about recording artists and songwriters um in africa nigeria especially there's like one person doing everything you have one person doing their songwriting the same person performing their song the same person some some persons are also the one producing the song everything together okay so whatever if you are that person is fine but of course if um these are different individuals listening to me you are a songwriter or you are an artist who also writes your song or your producer who also produces your song it's important that you pay attention to this thing i'm sharing with you every single song has emotion now the other day i talked about the fact that one of the easiest way to create a hit song is to make sure that your message is well understood you know you keep it simple great delivery straight to the point message no ambiguity okay these are some of the things that helps you get your song connect with your audience now understanding your message also means that you need to be able to communicate the emotion of the message it's one thing to pass a message across it's another thing to be able to communicate the right emotion that takes the message to the heart of the people because you see they say music is the food of the soul right so when we listen to music it gets the message gets into the subconscious mind all right right there the more you take it in the, the words of the music that you take it in the more that goes straight into your subconscious so music has so much power you want to be able to connect with the soul of the people that is listening to you with what you are saying with the message that you are passing across so it needs to be understood and for it to be understood you have to be able to communicate it in the emotion that communicates that message very very important now sometimes words can actually mean one thing but they communicate different thing to the audience let me give you an example i always like to give this example if somebody say um something like there is nothing god cannot do and um, nothing is impossible with god these things actually mean the same thing but they communicate totally different emotion to the listener right the person that is listening will get the, in english language there is nothing god cannot do and nothing is impossible with god they actually mean the same thing right but different emotion are what they communicate so what exactly you want the audience to get out of the song determine what kind of words that you use to pass your message across and of course the kind of emotion that you want the audience to actually get out of what you're saying because at the end of the day the words are powerful there are certain words that spark certain emotion in people all right words like impossible words like possible this this word communicates different kind of emotion okay so these are things that you need to understand as a songwriter one of the things that i do as an air and r manager when i work with artists is to get them to identify the emotions behind music all right now every song that you see every song that is out there they have the emotion behind them music are classified into two different kind of emotion especially for the gospel all right two different kind of emotion now in, in the secular in the secular um i mean there are certain categories i will not put them in now i said this for a reason because there is an emotion that i, I classify as the emotion of god all right so in the gospel you have emotion of man and emotion of god now the emotion of man there are variant of them and of course in the secular what you have the most are emotions of men right there are plenty of the emotion of joy emotion of um, um peace emotion of confidence emotion of dependability there are lots of them okay now there's emotion of god for those who are in the gospel okay now when people actually understand what emotions are in music when you're creating your song you can actually tell exactly what the emotion category this song fall in and that will help you understand exactly what you intend to communicate and how exactly to drive that emotion down to the audience because you see music is a communication it's a communication of emotions from the heart from the soul of the singer to the audience all right and so 
it's it's you communicating something to them and if you understand that you're actually communicating something to your audience then it becomes easy because you are able to consciously communicate exactly what you want your audience to get this is very important this is very important so it's important as a music artist for you to understand music emotions music emotions every song has emotion and if you don't know this you know this might just be an eye opener to open you up to a different level of songwriting in your music career so if you understand emotion you can actually i tell you one of the things i do is in my my a and r session in my music coaching session most times i will tell when i teach artists about different kind of emotion i will get them to identify the emotions of most of the popular songs that we know you know and and you find out that by the time they are able to understand the emotion they listen to it they pick a song they listen to a song and they can tell what emotion this song is they listen to a song, the song and they can tell what emotion this song is on why am i shouting emotion emotion is because music is basically about emotion music is about emotion music is about emotion very important I always tell people I say music is simply sound and emotion and if you understand how to use sound and emotion perfectly well you will create songs that become unforgettable okay so now I get people to understand emotion so when you listen to songs you can actually tell what emotion this is so you can actually pick a pen and your bio pick a, uh, your bio and paper and then you write a song on a particular emotion for example you can say, okay, I want to write this song on the emotion of God. And I can tell you that most of the artists that you know, a whole lot of them, I've studied a couple of them, and I can tell you most of them have certain emotions that all of their songs fall on, right? And I can actually analyze why some of these hit songs become hit songs. And I'll tell you why. Some of them have combinations of emotions that they put into one song and they deliver this perfectly well. And th there are some emotions that, you see, I tell people, Anything that gets your emotion will get you. So somebody communicate the right emotion to you and the emotion will get to you. It will get your attention. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this is very important. If you're an artist and you cannot listen to a song and tell what emotion this song falls on, there's a possibility that you cannot actually communicate the right emotions in your own song. Very important.